And, and what might you have there, Uncle Bull Cow, that little tiny thing? Well, you read the title, you already know. That is a bubblegum seven pot peach ghost jammy. So it's a peach, peach ghost jammy crossed with a seven pot bubblegum. I'm on an empty stomach, so you know, I'm gonna have me a little, little curly fry action before I bite in this pepper. Mm hmm. So, never tried this before. Um, I'm growing it. I've seen some little pods this size or maybe a little bigger on the plant. Then today I look and there's a ripe one. Now this has a bleeding calyx, you see that? But there's still some green. So it may not be fully ripe. But uh, let's give it a shot. Wow. It's hot. This got little tiny bite right off the bat. Heat. It has that essence of a peach pod. But it's hot. These little bubblegum peppers like this, man, they light me up. Woohoo. All right, let me set that baby down for a second. Woohoo. The chaser. I got the new creamsicle um, milkshake from Arby's. Why is it all melted and half gone or almost gone? Arby's, the, they don't have any AC. And while I was waiting for my food, I was sipping on it. So, it's actually pretty good. I was actually going to review that pepper. I'm burning right now. It's a good little pepper, man. It's got good flavor. And it's hot. Hot! I've tried the Cookie Monster. The Carbon Boot Bubblegum 7. That's the red one. Cookie Monster looks like this. But it's more orange. This one's more peach colored. Um, whoo! That's a freaking hottie. Wow. Got some more pods here. That is the Carbon Boot Bubblegum 7. Chocolate Douglas. Yellow Scorpions are coming on nice. Although, I'm not going to have these big pods for long. Uh, the second batch will be smaller, but look at that. Isn't that a beautiful pepper? Woohoo! So, yeah, I went into Arby's and, uh, damn, them curly fries, they don't give you a lot, do they? I went into Arby's and I was going to do my pod review in there and, uh, you know, see if they had anything spicy. They had that brisket sandwich a couple months back. It was awesome. So I got a brisket. It's not the same one. It's not the Diablo. But I guess this is a review. This is the Smokehouse brisket from Arby's. Mm. It's pretty good for fast food. Look at that. The brush gets a little dry compared to last time. Damn, they didn't even give me any napkins. Luckily, I got baby wipes right here. <laughs> um, they got one girl in there back in the kitchen doing all the cooking. The drive through is lit right now, packed with people. They're going to close at 7, but I think their boss should have let them close earlier. No AC. So it's about 87, 88 degrees in the dining room. Maybe a little hotter. It's probably 100 or more in that kitchen. That's not good. Yeah. See why I'm doing the pepper review in my car. <laughs> what the heck? What's in the bag here? A couple of RV sauces and like two fries. I was hoping I had more fries than that. Maybe I should have said, give me a large. I don't know. I don't eat fast food that much. 
them, and I haven't had Arby's since since that brisket sandwich came out. Um, that's the Diablo Dare, which had no heat to it at all. You know, it was they're claiming it was the hottest fast food item ever made. I don't know. I couldn't detect heat from it. Was it good? Oh yeah. That was, it was just it was phenomenal. No freaking napkins. Woo! That little bubble gum's got me lit, guys, right now. Uncle Bokow's lit. Tinkster Tuesday tonight on Instagram. The Uncle Bokow page. Tune in. Now that's very floral. Oh. Ridiculously hot. Wow. Wow. That's ah, that's hot. That's hot. That's a hot pepper. Might have to put one of them in the gauntlet for the pineapple. I'm gonna send a couple of pods to Chris Miller to review. Not my hottest stuff, but what I have ripe, you know. But I got some really hot stuff. And uh, the pineapple has been eating tons of pods, so I'm going to send them a little gauntlet. But I'm just waiting for the peppers to get ripe. I got some that just won't ripen. Oh, there's the yellow scorpions. Man, all week I've been plucking five, ten peppers off that one plant. It was an overwintered plant. I'm on fire. Bubblegum 7 Pot Peach Ghost Jammy. Big thumbs up from Uncle Bullcow. Yep. I knew it when I looked at it. I said, it's going to burn me. It's just like that cookie monster. And then I had another orange bubblegum. What was it called? Tangerine bubblegum. I don't know. Last year, I ate a bite of it. And it put me in straight panic mode. This is attacking my mouth. Full blast right now. That little tiny pod. Imagine if that pod, if those pods were bigger. I mean, some of them do get bigger than that, that one. But, like, you got the... No, this is the Carbon Boot Bubblegum 7. See the bleeding calyx? But they don't get much bigger than that. Most bubblegums I've seen... People have crossing a couple different things. Jimmy Pickles has one that he's releasing this year. It's the um, it's a bubblegum seven pot crossed with a naga and a prima tally. And I can tell you right now, there ain't no way that pepper ain't crazy hot. You mix prima tally and bubblegum together, recipe for a burn. Thank you for watching. Uncle Bull Cow, my review in the car. Peace out. Wow, wow.